Hi ladies, thanks for joining me today. We're in the Hilton in Sydney today, so something a little bit different. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to practice using false lashes. And I managed to find some very, very cheap lashes at the, um, well we won't call it a $2 store because it wasn't $2, uh, the Dezo, Dezo. Um, these lashes were $1.40 and they include glue. Now to practice you're only going to use one because you're going to cut it in half. So you end up with two sets from the one pack and you can reuse them. I've already cut one of the lashes in half. So exactly completely in half. And when you do that, there's one lash, of course, there's always one, that's just sticking out, so just cut that off. What I've done already is I've laid everything down. You will need to have done your eyeshadow, your liner, curled your lashes, and put on your mascara. So they're the steps that you need to complete before you try putting your lashes on. Um, when you're attempting to just learn, you can do that without putting all the rest of your makeup on but once you do put them on to wear them out you do need all that eye makeup done. Now the trick with the glue, let me put my la let me put my eyes on because I can't see without them, oh, they're filthy, um, you need to put the glue on and let it get to the stage where it's tacky. So I'll just pierce this tube. You're going to need a pair of tweezers. Okay, so the flared end, the longer end obviously goes out to the side. Taking the glue and, and running it along the band, like such, you can see that. You don't need to really squeeze the tube, it just sort of wants to run out anyway. Okay, so We'll just have to leave that sit now for around 30 seconds before it will become a little bit more clear and tacky. This is the perfect way to learn just by using that outer edge. They're not hard to manipulate. We're going to latch it on at the outer edge and press it in. And from there you can advance yourself up. I wouldn't really tend to go more than a three quarter lash. I don't think you need the full lash coffee. These aren't nice lashes by the way. You don't get nice lashes for $1.40. These are plastic but they'll do the job. When you're looking for the particular one that I've bought, imitation lashes number 725. There. It's got numbers on it everywhere. But yeah, I'd say that's the number. But that's what they look like up close. So they're perfectly mirrored from one side to the other. So that makes it perfect to cut in the middle. Alrighty, let's hope that this is... I don't know this glue and I'm sure it's not going to be great for $1.40. Alright, so from the outer edge, I'm just going to line that up. Move to the front. And press that in. You can use the end of your tweezer to press that on. That was so simple. I mean, really, you just basically drop it on and press it on. As long as you're lining that outside edge up, piece of cake. Again, we're just going to put that glue on. No need to squeeze the tube. It will, it just runs out. And then wait for it to get tacky. The beauty of that lash, when you cut it, if you see it's really quite small and fine at the either ends. 
if you're actually going to wear these once you've cut them in half, they blend into your lashes because that is so short at this end. If you're looking for a different brand of lash, look for that same sort of thing where you've got the thinner end and then the thicker middle and you'll be able to do what I just did then. Waiting. So I just latch that down on the outside edge and pull that round at the front. Press it in. It's not the best glue guys but it's something to practice with. I'm just going to put on a red lip. I'm going to lunch with my sister. So I thought we might do the red. I'm going to do the ombre look with the two shades of red. This is absolutely gorgeous and I get complimented wherever I go. People love this red, but it is a combination of two. So I'll show you how I achieve that. I put Cougar Red on the outside and then I put Risky Red in the middle. I'll work this up in a minute and make it look decent, but this is what I do. So work those edges with your lip brush, blot powder, if you're wanting a red lip to last you really should powder down in between, don't need much, and I'll repeat that with the Cougar Red on the outside and the Risky Red in the middle, and it just gives fantastic dimension to a red lip. So now with these lashes, what you could do is, you know, tidy up your eyeliner, add a little bit more. I'm working under duress here and terrible lighting and uh, a rush to get to lunch. So let me just see. Oops, and I'm painting the table. <laughs> oh dear. So just top up your liner. And there you have the perfect set of cheapy lashes to uh, give a little practice to and learn how to do your false lashes. They really do make a difference when you're having an evening event and you want to make your eyes look really something. So try and learn how to do them, ladies. It's not hard. And you know, $1.40, it's the perfect excuse to give it a go. Hope that's been helpful. I'm going to lunch, so I'll catch you again soon. Quick reminder, if you haven't already joined the Cougar Cosmetics Women's Group on Facebook, please do. A women's support group and women are really starting to interact. We're starting to go to lunches and coffees and things, so we're getting to know each other. Jump in while we're all new. Um, invite your friends, you're most welcome. So you will need to search for Cougar Cosmetics Women's Forum on Facebook ask to join and I shall approve it for you. It is a closed group. Also, if you need any help with your makeup, by all means, please feel free to contact me at www.cougarcosmetics.com.au or .com. Both will take you to the website. It's been my pleasure, ladies, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye now.